What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a little magic 30 cube draft. Uh, I haven't done this one yet. It looks pretty sweet. It ends tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, so, <clears throat> I think Magic 30 is a terrible name for this cube, and the reason is because the set, the Magic 30th Anniversary set, was literally just alpha and beta reprinted. So, like, by calling this the Magic 30 cube, it gave me the impression that it was just going to be alpha and beta cards. <laughs> and it was just going to be, like, really, like, underpowered, boring stuff. <clears throat> Thank you! Like Elvish Archers and Wall of Swords and shit. And um, apparently it's not. Apparently it's a reasonable cube. Yeah, like look at all these cards. This is great. Tarmogoyf. Don't know how I feel about Tarmogoyf in a cube, but... Scarbo, thank you for the resub, buddy. What up? Welcome back. But here we are. I would like to take a Mana War. This Teferi is kind of meh. Explore is basically Mind Walk. I don't know what Mind Walk is. <clears throat> is that a card? I'm really hoping you meant to say Time Walk and you just accidentally called it Mind Walk, and then that's just funny. I think we're gonna take. I think we're gonna take Mana War. Okay, so clarified Mind Walk, not a card. Good to know. <clears throat> so I don't know what our options are here. I also resubbed, but I guess you're too busy. Mo yeah, I didn't. No, I just didn't care. I was like, oh, great. That guy's back. Wonderful. Teferi's Protection. Interesting. They got Blade Historian. I mean, I kind of want to recoil here. I got Mana War. I can go recoil. We can just, we can just play 1994 Magic. I'll recoil. I, I got no shame here. At work, but got on Twitch. Got the Twitch signal that you were on. A bad circumstance for you, and I hope you find something. Glad you're... Yeah, I mean, it's been a while. It's been like... I got an email today about... Uh, the job that wants to talk to me, so that's fun. My fingers are crossed. It is a Zenimax position. But I, I have a really bad track record for um, Stormcrow. Come on, that's just a meme. Come on. Pull the real cards in the cube. You freaking savages. I think I just want Fle Frixing Flesh Gorger. Not because it's the best card in the pack, though I think it is good. But mostly because it's just really cool and I like it a lot as a card. Nameless Inversion's fine. Persuasion is actually just fine. But I think we're going to go with Fleshy. <coughs> what was I going to say? I was going to say I was in the middle of saying something. Oh. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts about the Lord of the Rings set? I don't have any, really. I mean, I, it's not out, right? So I can't really think... I can't really have an opinion on the cards. They are cards that are going to come out. And that is fine. I don't think they should be modern legal, but that's not up to me. Whenever this guy deals combat damage player, look at that player's hand. You may cast a spell from it without paying the mana. Yeah, that guy seems great. And then we can just get some floaty babies. Floaty baby. Um, Yuriko is actually really good if we're ninjutsuing things. Return and commander ninjutsu. What does that mean? Put this card in the mouth of your hand in the command zone. Tap, tap, tap. Or... Oh, I see. So it's just ninjutsu for the sake of the cube. Whenever a ninja you control does combat damage. Yeah, this is, we're just taking this when we have already have Silent Blade Oni. We're just we're just ninjing. Ninjing. Uh overall my remorse is probably fine. Uh I am a fan of Lord of the Rings, but I'm not like a really big fan of it. Like I enjoy it. <clears throat> but not like more than anything else. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. It's a fine IP. It's not my favorite fantasy IP. Yeah, I'll take over Owen Roars. Oh, Muldrifter? I want to bounce a Muldrifter with one of my ninjutsu guys for sure. Oh, man. This deck's looking sweet so far. 
Is it good? I don't know. Is it sweet? I think so. I have bad luck, Sugar. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> my conversion rate on interviews to jobs is so low. It's extremely low. I'm terrible in interviews. I don't think I sell myself well. Um, and so yeah, I've, I've just I've just temper I temper my expectations and I learn not to I count my chickens before they hatch. Uh, I have not read anything by Brandon Sanderson, so no. I don't really have a favorite fantasy IP, to be honest. I don't, I'm not a huge fantasy fan. I think Stupor is probably fine, actually. Like, I don't know how good Phyrexian Revoker is going to be. What if they made a 600 card... Oak Island MTG set, but they only release like 10 cards every few months. <laughs> yeah, I, that would be, that would be sick. <clears throat> and then you have to find them in packs. Like you, they don't, you don't even get them <clears throat> easily. You just, you just find them in packs. Uh, Prickly. So Merfolk Trickster is cool, but I think Prickly Bogart's actually just really good in our deck. Oh, the nameless Stormcrow is actually also really good. That's really ironic. These cards that I was like, these are terrible. This guy's got fear. This guy's got flying. Don't try to sell yourself. Just be. I, so it's not even. Hold on. What does this guy do? Uh, two one. Whenever does come out, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card unless it enters. So yeah, that that's good. Um. I don't know. It's more that I don't like, I don't know how to like, by sell myself, I mean, I don't know how to like speak in terms that are impressive about jobs. That makes sense. Like I know how to do jobs. Like I, I know I was qualified for several positions I didn't get, but I think I don't know how to like talk those things up, those skills up. Like I don't know how to say like what they want to hear or like how it sounds best. Like it's really, I don't know. It's always been frustrating to me. Michael's on the phone with a with a customer, and he keeps saying, "Can you hear me now?" Oh man, I'm like I'm loving this ninjutsu. Arc. Look, I got oblivion ring. Just kidding, it's an oubliet. If an opponent lost three more life this turn, you draw a card. That's very good. This is a clone, right? And there's a copy of any. Any creature on the battlefield except the ninja, that's got to be the play, right? Especially with our ninjutsu. Yes, it is It is definitely hyper-competitive, especially with the, the, the amount of layoffs that have been happening. All right, like, it just makes it worse. I'm just competing with so many more people than I normally would be. Um... Could just be Rankle here. Do you have to choose? Choose any number. So I could choose none. Yeah, that seems good. What is it if there are 10 or more creature cards in all graveyards? Oh, man, Avatar of Woe is such a, such a banger back in the day. Is it still good? I don't know. I'm going to take Rankle. That feels better. Una's Prowler is pretty good. That's going to sneak under the radar. Michael's like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> I like a Shriek Maw. That's a, that's a dude all I, want, I want to bounce. That seems great. Same with Murderous Red Cap, but Shriek Maw actually has a way to get in there. Is Dark Ritual just really good here? I don't actually know. I do like this Sea Dash or Octopus. I'm going to just take the Shriek Maw. It, it feels right. I, this doesn't feel like a format that really Thank rewards you. you for getting a, a Dark Ritual out. Like, it's not super broke. I bought a comic book art page yesterday. Well, tell me more. I'm sure it's under your league of what you're looking for, but if you are interested in being an assistant manager for movie theater, let me know. Uh, would have to move to the Midwest, though. That sounds good. That whole deal sounds great for me.
Yeah, I'm absolutely sold. You love snow, yeah? And trees? Trees, yes. Snow, no. This card is a beating. And I'm going to take it. And farmland, hmm, well, you're really, <clears throat> you're really selling me here. If I wasn't sold before, I'm definitely now. Snow is literally my least favorite thing. And it's one of the reasons why we moved to, we want to move to like Arizona after Katie's residency. We want to have a pool more than anything. Like we want to have a pool. We want to not have to shovel snow. We want it to not be under like 40 degrees. Is Mage DC, or not DC, Dark Horse or Image? I can't remember. It might be neither. I think it's one, though. I think we're definitely taking Shipwreck Marsh. We want some fixing. I don't know if this guy's good enough. Pools are a stupid amount of work, but, like, ideally at that point we'll be making enough to not care. We just pay pay other people to do, do the work for us. <coughs> <clears throat> when it attacks and we return an instant sorcery exiled. I don't think I have enough to care about that guy. I literally thought this was Fallen Shinobi and I got really excited and then I realized it wasn't and I got less excited. My excitement dropped exponentially. Uh, below ground, because we're adults. That felt classist when I said it. Like, But I was like, I feel like above ground pools are just like... They're not as well they're like kind of like not well made right like we've had an above ground pool when i was in when i was growing up in florida and like it would it would get leak like it would leak sometimes the liner would rip like they're just really i don't know it, it seems like it seems like a a, a a kind of a like a a cheap substitute for an underground pool You were trying to be so nice talking about, yeah, like, I mean, I don't want to knock anyone who has an above ground pool. Like, they get the job done. You want to get, you want to go in the pool? You want to get wet? Knock yourself out. Almost as if they were made to where you'd have to buy one more than once. That's interesting. Is that, is that just big above ground pool? Is that this, the, their, uh, their racket? They just, they just make them less durable. So you have to get more than one. If you have an above ground hot tub, your fans, I disagree. I, I, all the houses we've looked at in Arizona have like built in hot tubs that are up underground, not uh, below ground, I guess you want to say. <laughs> above ground pools have ladders to get into the below ground. What do you have against ladders? It's a fair question. I'd like to, I'd like to pass this one off to my assistant. I'll actually, I'll commit to memory. Oh, look, the Avatar of Will came back. That's pretty interesting. So I think I have like three spells right now. Stupor, Recoil, Overwhelming Remorse, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, I like that Maul Drifter and Shriek Maw double as spells. Mana War is kind of like a spell. An above brown hot tub is like eight grand. <laughs> I don't... I mean, that's true, but I would, I would wager a below ground hot tub is even more i don't know it seems like if it's below ground like it's gonna be worth more than like a clunky above ground hot tub i'm no hot tub expert but that's just my guess is this pack two wow our deck looks really good for pack two i like a tomb stalker what does this get uh chosen type i don't think we have a type what's our type that was like doubling season for no shenanigans. You could just stick your foot in a, a a boiling pot of water on your stove if you want to save money on a hot tub. <clears throat> well, yeah, but what you lack in hot tub spending, you make up for in hospital bills. So it's, you know, half a dozen of one, six of another. <clears throat> three, three for three. 
enters with a menace counter on it. Whenever it deals combat damage, you may remove a menace counter. When you do, that player reveals their hand. You choose an online card, exile that card. So it's just like a shriek. It's this uh, Thoughtseize. But then we have Satoru Umizawa. That just gives all our creatures ninjutsu four. Yeah, we're just taking this guy with our ninjutsu deck. Come on, let's be real. I kind of like Persist Putrid Goblin here. He's just a two drop that gets in there. If we had any red fixing, which we probably could have taken some, I would take the Shivan Devastator. Just bounce that guy late in the game and then recast him for like a million more. As it stands, we're going for the Gobo. Oh man, the Ninjutsu Daddy himself. Good lord. Our deck seems really sweet. I don't know what's too much ninjutsu, right? Like, it's... Like, I feel like we have a lot of ninjutsu going on here. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if... I don't know if that's true, though. Rogue spells? Are you a rogue? You're a human N. Got it. Sounds good. Ninja. Ninja. Nin okay, so ninjas are not rogues, even though they probably should be, let's be honest. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take the ink, guys. So it's not Snapcaster based on the number of spells we have. I think it is Terror. Or we can just... God, I wish I could take Maelstrom Wanderer. That card's a, that card's a banana banger. Patriarch's bidding naming Ninja seems pretty sweet. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like it. Miss Meadow Witch doesn't do much for us. Persecutor scares the shit out of me, but I guess we can blink it. Yeah, I'm taking Persecutor here. With this much ninjutsu, like, I just attack with Persecutor, deal six, and then bounce him. Can I do that after damage? Dokuchi? Dokuchi? <laughs> hmm. Uh-huh. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may discard a creature card. When you do, destroy a creature. That guy seems great. I'm taking Dokuchi. Thuganomics? I don't even know what that is. I think he made that up. <clears throat> Thuganomics? Thuganomics. <laughs> See, I read it as if like, hey, this has got to be a medical term, so I'm going to read it like that. <clears throat> oh my god, this is a 1-1 one -one with Shadow. When it leaves the battlefield, I draw a card. Good lord, that's everything this deck wants. No, I don't care about that. I will take this God Pharaoh's gift, though. Oh, the Biting Palm Ninja came back. That's pretty sweet. God, we have so much ninjutsu. Why is, why is Thugonomics a John Cena song? That does not... John Cena does not seem uh, thuggish, let's say. <clears throat> Frog tosser boy. So what do we have? One, two cuts to make? That's good. Uh, debtor's knell, sure. Get nailed on, that's what I always say. You ever windmill slam a debtor's knell and then say get nailed on? You ain't living if you haven't. <clears throat> I've got to cut two cards here, huh? Oh man, even even Marshfelder is good. 
I kind of like it better than Rankle. Rankle McStankle. God, our deck has so much. I'm going to take out Putrid Goblin because that guy seems kind of meh. It has so much ninjutsu, y'all. What are your thoughts on the prototype artifacts? Uh, why is the colorless version more expensive? And a better, bigger version? Wouldn't one cast... Uh, no. Um, it's... So that's an interesting question. Um, my, my theory would be that... Um... You should build... When you're building your deck, you want your lower drops to be within your color. You don't want to have generic cards that can just fit into anyone's deck at three mana. <clears throat> so like this guy or Steel Seraph, like those, sh the, the fact that they're lower colors make them more color specific. This is much less of a black card if it's just three colorless mana for a 33 with Medicine Lifelink. That is, that is basically a colorless artifact. That's like a baby worm coil engine that you can probably put in, in a lot of decks. Um, so like this makes you want to play it in decks <clears throat> having the prototype cost be colored makes you want to play it in decks that can cast both sides. If they were switched, you would probably play them in only decks that could be cast by their proto prototype cost. You wouldn't worry about the seven mana if it was like five black black or something. So like it makes them more restricted to their specific color combination, which I think is probably good because I think if Steel Seraph was like three mana for a three, three flyer that gave another ability to something like colorless, like that's really good. And that's going to go in any, any, any deck. If you cast it for the prototype cost, the black card. No, it's still a colorless card. I believe. Maybe it might be a black card. That's actually a good question. Hold on one second. It is the color. Okay, so yeah, if you cast it as a 3-3, it's a black card. Got it. All right, we got one more cut to make. Sorry, guys, had to respond to Katie real quick. More people need to chant, it is the color. <laughs> it says it on the writer text. Ooh, interesting. Oh, it's not on here. 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 What if I, how do I, oh, God. There's no way I can see it, I guess. If I make these bigger. I need to cut. One card. Can we just do that real quick? God, all our cards are good, though. I'm going to cut Commit's Memory. I don't think I care about it. I got two Fixing Lands. Our deck seems banging, dude. We are the color. <laughs> we are the color. And, whoa, look at these sick negative, <laughs> these negative exposure lands. That's fucking wild. Look at this island that's actually a mountain. Look at this swamp that's actually, I don't know, dude. Wow, that's insane. Oh, wow, they continue here, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Okie dokie. Um, I kind of want to cut one... I want to add one more blue just because this guy is double blue. God, Jesus, look at this. This is a, this is a mountain. This is literally a mountain. Get the fuck out of here. That's amazing, dude. I have no idea whether I like this. And I'm really curious if they're going to persist like this in the game. <clears throat> they did get they did God Blood Moon. Oh yeah. It does this weird twitch 
when the match is actually it like blinks. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I wow, that is so tilting. This is going this is this is wild, man. Come on. I need to tweet about this. Hold on. Do do do. Uh, we are going to keep this hand though. Like this guy on three and this guy on four seems great. And then we're going to at magic online there. Like you do. Oh God, I don't even know what these lands are, dude. This is, comes into play unless we control two or more other lands. Sure. Not a problem. Just Snowy, thank you for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Glad to see you, buddy. Are these secret layer lands? Is this like a secret layer negative exposure land? <clears throat> are these the climate change lands? Where these are what they look like if climate change takes over? There's so many there's so many options. There's so many possibilities as to what these could be and why they look like this. No, Apocalypse didn't have lands though. The, the lands were in invasion because that was the that was the big set in the block. Hugh 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 Hugh. He's so funny. What a comedian. A comedian died tonight in New York. It's from Watchmen. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. So if it's an obscure. Let's play, let's cast him as a man. Oh my God, look at this. It's not just me. Look at this freaking purple forest, man. Come on, dude. I don't actually have a way to flip it around, unfortunately. It's not, it's outside of my, my wheelhouse. I just, I guess I don't know how this happens. How does this happen? You have the lands in the, in the client. What causes them to like literally reverse color and become negative? I don't get it. it can't, I don't think updating MTG or refreshing would do it because their lands are the same. Unless that's on my side. But I literally just opened the client right before I started playing, so. I, I can't imagine this is an isolated thing based on my client. It's actually making me really have to like, I'm, I'm a very visual person and like I process information visually, um, which is why I'm really bad with like proxies unless it's like the actual, like if it's a printed out image of the card, because like all the information visually is what is what triggers me, not triggers me, but like uh, you know, it, it's that's what I recognize. So like just seeing these like this, I'm just like, which one's the island? Okay, the red one is the island. And I'm like having to like form these these neural connections in my brain to these to these lands that don't exist. <laughs> you just find lands that are the wrong colors so that they're inverted. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm sure Magic has existing lands that are just naturally negative and that I can play them. And then they're not, you know. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Alright, well, these guys are going the distance for sure. Do you remember that time we had all those ninjutsu cards in our deck? I don't know where they went, but... Like, it's just a very, it's a very interesting bug in that, like, what part of an error changes the card image to the negative image? If that's even what's happening, can I, can I do that? Can I, like, can I view negative, can I, ne how do you negative an image in paint? Can you do that still? I don't know if you can do that anymore. You used to be able to do that. Be like, look at the negative. I don't know if you can do it anymore. Yeah, you can. You can have that guy. Mm, maybe he. I'm inverting. Oh, sweet. <laughs> of course, Christian's on it. Fantastic. Look at that. That's wild. Banishing light. Oh, I hope I have a way to get rid of this because then I get back my flesh gorger. Oh, they take my flitter, my marsh flitter. That's okay. Let's just draw a removal spell, right? This is one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lands to three spells. Seems good. What could go wrong? Oh, so Kerwit inverted the image, and this is what it looks like. So, yeah, it looks like it's just inverted. But only the art. Apparently the borders are still normal because otherwise this would remain black, obviously. That's so weird, man. What causes that? That's so weird. So we know these are set at Wayfinder, right? So... <clears throat> what does this do? Investigates? Sure. So it's a 4-3. And as long as you control a clue, it's a it's a it's a two three if you don't. Oh, as long as you control any token, that's pretty good. <clears throat> right, inverting images shouldn't like there's not just like that's not just like a, a common issue. That's like that's the result of a thing that happens in programming. Like no, it's not really a a thing. It's a very random. Uh, my client did not update this morning. I don't think they update on, on Tuesdays. I think it's Wednesdays or Thursdays. Nevertheless, like, it's still weird. They have five cards. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so they got the path in hand. That's cool. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, Kurt, see you in a little bit, buddy. They chose Rudy Tootie. Crag and Fruity. And they got a Garrick on top. <clears throat> Each creature in your hand has ninjutsu. Okay. Sounds good. Whenever you activate ninjutsu, look at the top three cards in your library. I overpaid. Oh, boy. That guy's going to die, I'm sure. They have so many cards in hand. I'm not sure I understand why.
Vivian Reed. Sounds good. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's Vivian on the hunt. But the character is Vivian Reed, which is why I said that. Vine Lasher Kudzu. Okie dokie. This seems like an easy trade. I'll trade a Mana War for a Briar Bridge Tracker. Okie dokie. I feel like we're just way behind right now. They still have four cards. One is a Path, one's a Garak Relentless. Like, we have four lands. I'm just going to go to the next game. Like, I don't know what we can draw that would actually... Like, this guy's never getting through. That guy's decent, but like two turns from now, like they're gonna have another planeswalker. I like that you spelled fusion there two different ways. That's good. That's good. Biting Palm is bugged. So it's not just basic lands. In what way do you, can you, can you give more info so I know what to expect? I will say yes. I'll keep this beautiful hand. Uh, it removes the counter, but doesn't fire off the... Oh, shit. That's terrible. That's really bad. Two nights ago, huh? I can, I can cross my fingers. This is a wild-looking forest, man. That is insane. Okay, so I guess we do need one land here. Or we can just Moon Circuit Hacker. Try to hit another land. I guess we still need a land even if we <laughs> even if we do that. It's not like we'd stop needing a land at that point. Hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's get in there. I will attack. So they got a forest and an, this is like so hard to process. I'm like, okay, they have red mana up. Like I have to be like, okay, they have a forest and an island. And then I have to like mentally think of like what they could have. Well, we wanted an island so we could replay our guy, but I guess that's also fine. I'll take a land, sure. I'm just like shockingly put off by this. Like, I think they look cool, but it's really hard to wrap my brain around for some reason. My neurodivergent brain. Derek Relentless. Yep, we knew. Everybody knew. Uh, I, I, I have my doubts restarting the client will do anything. I'll do it after this round, but I don't think it's going to do anything. 
Stuff like this usually isn't client side. Plus, I literally started right before the stream, so it's not like it's been open for a while or something. We'll do it. We'll give it a give it a go. Yeah, let's play Gorgy here. Because they have to make a guy and play a guy. We can bounce the guy they they make, or the token even. And then kill the Garrick. That seems okay. Give it a year ago. <laughs> uh, give it the old year ago. You know how you know how it goes. It's your go. Oh, the old Cudzerino. Wonderful. Yeah, Kudzu getting counters, man. Wild. Another forest? Sounds good. You got forest, forest, I, forest, forest planes. This is where they go Knight of Autumn and kill our, our Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. Wood Elves. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, but this has been a ride to have landfall. That's pretty funny. Okay. Well... Oh boy. Well. I think we're just bouncing this guy. Maybe attacking, killing both these guys. I don't know. That doesn't sound great. Shut up and take my money. Oh, John Kapoor just put out his first video since leaving TCG player. Any chance you want to give it your thoughts on it? I would have to see it, but yeah, I would definitely do that. I've, I really like John's stuff when he was with TCG player, so... Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch this later. This seems sweet. Yeah, as an IT guy, restarting fixes problems sometimes, and it doesn't make sense, but we accept it. That's That sounds correct. Nick, thank you so much for the donation, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Did you get that invitation yet or what? Because you definitely should have by now. Nice. Glad to hear it. Oh, good. They're going to search for a guy. Wonderful. Oh, yes, a Hornet Queen. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. That's going to go well. That's going to... Man, our deck seemed way cooler before this round started. I guess first game we drew all all spells, and the, or all lands, and this game we drew all spells. So, you know. I will take that damage. Do we have any way to deal with the a fat hornet queen here? Or is it just are we just dead? I mean, if I had another land I could play this <laughs> and copy the Hornet Queen, so I guess we can kind of do that. Jesus. <sighs> so you know they also have kudzu in hand. I don't know, this doesn't seem great. I'm not I'm not a big fan of 
of the 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 way this game is going. Hey, there's your little cudzy. <laughs> you were insulting their complexion. That's true, I was doing that. But God, can you blame me? Look at this. I'll add three purple mana, two red mana, and a blue mana to my mana pool. Okay. So they just show the same cards every game. They just draw Garrick Relentless, Vivina the Hunt, Wood Elves. Every game. Every game. Where's like a damnation when you need it? Oh, it doesn't matter. We can't cast it anyway. Wow, they're really, really getting in there. Okay, yeah, I'm done. This is fucking unreal. Jesus Christ. What an what an agonizing what an agonizing match. Okay, so we were started. And lo and behold, the lands are still still garbage. So <laughs> nailed it. Oh boy. Good times. Restart harder. Yeah, I guess I, I could have... I didn't use enough gusto when I restarted. One island, six other cards. Sounds good. I, I'm not going to uninstall and reinstall. Again, I don't think this is client side. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is not just me. That's better. Ship an island. I guess I have no way to prove it, but it just doesn't feel like it would be. That doesn't really make any sense. I, I dislike them. I I think they're horrendous, and they make me think I'm playing a red-black deck right now. Terror seems really good against them. I just don't think it's worth playing this guy here. We can just play Mana War next turn, bounce something. The Swamp is readable. It's it's far too green, but it's readable. Okay, okay. So they replay Mesmeric Fiend. They probably take Moon Circuit Hacker. Or they just take the same thing.
Oh, they're not taking a little Percy. Oh, not my little Percy. It's almost at the front door. Do they think this? Oh, God. Do they think it's flying? Oh, my God. Everyone thinks this dude's flying. I don't understand. That's amazing. The number of people who literally just run their their putrid imps into into your ground creatures is un unbelievable. I agree with you. It has wings. Why wouldn't it fly? Nobody knows. This thing's fine. Two big evasive creatures. This is the magic 30 cube. Uh, I'm just gonna take it. Are you gonna jit swing? Should I have blocked? Man, I should have blocked, wow. I don't know what's going on. Just play your, play your ninjutsu card and let's move on. <laughs> Did they? Oh God, what is this? Ink eyes. That's pretty good. That's very good. Oh God, I should just block. What if I blocked? This whole game's over if I just, if I just block it. Sure. Is there a creature or planeswalker that player controls? It's gotta be it's gotta be Dakuchi, right? Discard a creature. Probably Prowler at this point. Kill this asshole. <laughs> Taking the Gucci. See, that's funny. Oh, this guy again? I forgot they had that guy. Oh, man. Missed Syndicate Naga. Don't take it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't do it. It's not good. It's not even good. Don't be afraid. They were afraid. Son of a biscuit. I don't see a point in attacking with that guy. This guy is a freaking engine, dude. Draw a card. Draw a card. Return to her, then that player, return to her burn to its owner's hand. That player discards a card. 
the owner. I assume it's the owner. And then I have to discard. I don't want to do that. Let's just play big fat abyssal persecutor. Who even target? No, those no those guys even matter. Recoil's a nice uh a nice answer to persecutor. I'll just bounce them. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. None of your cards are any good though, so that's just fine. Oh, what we should have done. We could have recoiled. No, we're one mana shy. Never mind. I was thinking we recoil. We get back our Mist Naga and then we... Actually, yeah, it's just three to Ninjutsu. Okay. Hmm. I guess we're just playing Thalicos here. Hmm. Well, I don't want to block because then you get to kill both my guys. So instead, we won't block. And I'll just take two. Hmm. Learn Ninja Control is the answer. Player of the top card you put in your hand. Each one loses life. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That sounds fantastic. Can I get an island? I just want one island. Give daddy an island. I noticed you're not giving. Oh, you gave him an island. What a, what a banana banger. So they're taking seven. So if the top card costs three or more, they just die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll hit okay. Wait, what? Oh, I have persecutor. <laughs> I was like, wait, how come I haven't won? Never mind. Okay. Uh, discard Stormcrow. Okay. I was like, wait, what's going on? Did it bug? I thought it was bugged. I thought the game was so bugged it just doesn't end. It's okay, we figured it out. Friday night I crash jump party. Oh, that guy's good. Fascinating. Uh, our closest airport is Denver, yes. 
D-E-N. Drowned catacombs. Um. You know what? We're going to try this. And the theory is that if it doesn't work, we'll just fire a file for a refund. That's <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely incredible. Well, I'm just going to screenshot this. Phenomenal. Quality program. Okie dokie. Yeah, that was fantastic. I, I'm, I, have, I don't even have words, man. No, I'm pretty sure it didn't reveal any hands. No, it would be here if it were revealed my hand. Yeah, I actually applied for a position at Daybreak and they never got back to me and I was like, well, clearly I would do much worse than, than is currently being done, so. Hmm. This guy costs six, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Oh, I feel like we're going to get in here, too. Because they're not going to block, right? Not when I got... They did block? Well, I'll be. Was not expecting that. And we can still cast Overwhelming Remorse here, and next turn we can uh, Silent Blade Oni. Look at that player's hand, cast a spell. 6-5 Demon Ninja. What more can you ask for? I think they're getting mana flooded here. I will not block. Okay. My turn. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bum, 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 bum. Big. F oh, okay. <laughs> God, did they concede? Like, I saw their hand come up and then it disappeared immediately. That's insane. All right, well. From 02 to 20. Started at the bottom. Now we're here. I think this format probably uh, really heavily favors Planeswalkers. That's my initial impression. Because I don't know how many answers for them there are. And also, like... They seem just a little bit better than the, the, the caliber of creatures. And the things people are doing.
<laughs> Mountains look like mayonnaise. Do you realize we're getting spoilers for six different sets and items at the same time right now? Six. That's insane. Is it Lord of the Rings? March of Machines? Um, I can't actually think of what, what else. Like, it just doesn't, my brain doesn't even hold, retain that much information, I don't think. No, you don't want a five? You want a two? Six? Okay. This guy into this gentleman here. What was that? Oh, you made a crab? Okay. Thank you. Hmm. This is going to be blue. I'm going to get two blue. I'm going to get a plum thing. I'm kind of just tempted to bounce this guy. That leaves forever, you know? What up, David Styles? Thank you for the resub. Oh, only five. Wow. That's basically like a totally different thing, you know? Hmm. So, definitely want to kill that. It seems very good. It's just back-to-back -back blue black matchups. Thank you. Bring out the coochie. T. Jesse, the jester. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Okay, we'll hit okay. I will discard moon circuit. And we'll play Thalico Seer with the hope of uh, ninjutsuing this guy in the future. Probably should have attacked with Mana War. Like, if they don't block, they don't block. Like, What set are these lands from? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, goody. Guess we're just getting in there for five. Uh, no, I will decline. I'm just going to play this guy. I'll keep the Storm Crow just in case they have a sweeper, but like three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make sure we don't play exactly. I mean, like it's never going to be lethal. If they're going to die, they're just going to pitch a card to this guy. So it's a two turn clock either way. That's totally fine. Okay, good. I'm 
Misprinted Jumpstart Lands. Oh, these look... Oh, these are sweet. $950 for a... Play Four is not a play set of basic lands. That's an interesting... That's an interesting way to list that. Four is a play set of cards because that's all you can use of them. But when it comes to basic lands, four is not a play set. There is actually no real play set for basic lands, I guess. Oh, wow. So they kept one card, huh? So if this guy dies, they get the card back. No, I'm good. Finally. You got a Vendillion click? Sure, dude. You got it. So long, Muldrifter. Hardly knew ya. Oh yeah, that's better. Stormcrow doing some work here, holding off every X1 they got. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Ooh, that's interesting. We're definitely alphaing here. If they have to block Una's Prowler, Hero's Downfall, and we get to draw a card. Okay. That's good. Block that Prowler. Sounds good. Uh, and kill you. Oh, satisfying. Flawless victory. You know, because we didn't take any damage. That's why. Um, let's... I guess they have Vendillion Click. They got, they got quite a few blue creatures. I guess that's fine. Uh, Avatar of Woe always seems juicy. Hold on one second. I gotta make a call. Okay. Definitely a keepable hand.
Oh, what up, crab? Let's go to the main step. Oh, they got the stop on our turn because of the Vendillion click. <laughs> that was kind of, yeah, that's how I do, though. Fascinating. A blank. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastical. Is it even worth... I don't think it's worth Dekuchiing. I'd rather have the, the fear creature in play. Oh, that's no good. I feel like we're going to get... We're going to get... We're going to get got here. Oh, we didn't get got. That's wonderful. Bouncing the Watcher is really good. They just get the card for free. I mean, I might just play Biting Palm Ninja just to get 3-3 out there. Or we might just stupor here. Interesting. Mana war down. Okay. Well, next time we can go marsh flitter. Oh, they took two. Oh dear. That's not going to go well. Oh, well, they didn't do anything, though. Fascinating. Remove soul, crack clue. That's what I'm thinking. And Or four mana spell, Venser, sure. Another black would be nice when our whole hand is black spells. That would be kind of nice. Oh, yes, yeah, another island. Phenomenal. Yeah, Vendillion click me. You got it. Interesting. I guess we'll just play this guy because he's just a 3-3 three, three for 3.
I am also very mesmerized by me, so that's understandable. Mm, that's interesting. Get in there with your Manasio. I'm actually tempted to overwhelm a horse one of these idiots so that I can save my guy, but this is probably fine. God, if one more black, we could just play Unis Prowler and Prickly Bogart. Like, it's so bad that this is all just, like, not black cards. Just this guy, I guess. So how many games have we lost to Mana Screw? This would be the third if we lose this one. <laughs> like, how, being able to, play, only, able to only play one spell when all your spells are like one, two, and three cost, and you have six, six mana. It's not great. Not great, Bob. And they're going to not... Okay, I guess we're just going to six here. Oh, another island. Fantastic. Fantastic. How is that not what we wanted? We gotta do it. And we assume you got something. We only have four mana. Maybe your mana's screwed? I don't know. No, of course not. Well, that's an interesting choice. Cycling. Oh, you're countering the ability. Well, that's pretty good. Why not just cast it, though, and then you just kill me next turn? Cause I don't. I guess I don't know what you have. Oh, thank Jesus. Uh, so what is this? Four mana and two mana. Yeah, that should be fine. Time to just kill this guy to get a card out of it? Sure, let's do it. Oh boy. Sure. <laughs> oh god. If they have an answer for this guy, I lose. Let's wait for it. And perfect. Never don't have it. Never don't have all seven of the things you need. Okay. I mean, our deck's not even that expensive. Like, we just didn't have any bloom any black mana so that's fun Yeah, all right. What the hell? Just 
just gonna play Circuit Hacker and hope that we can actually miss Syndicate Nog out. You guys know what I meant. Oh, good. Oh, goody. No blocks. Oh, that's actually very good. Oh, shit. That's nuts. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that is very good. You got a little crab. Uh, whenever a ninja you control is coming in, just play a real time cricket library and put it in your hand. Yeah, we're just going to play that. I think we're definitely losing one here, but. Uh, I already made an Innistrad cube. I have one built. It has a strong horror theme. You got it. Let's be careful not to bounce our own token. Uh, no, none of my cubes are 360, 540. Oh yeah, they're, they're stuck on the blue mana. Whenever you activate a ninjutsu, look at the top three. Each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu. Okay, well. Venser. That's frustrating. Oh my god, this Vendillion. Vendillion clicks every game. Sakashima student, I bet. Dude, why is my phone not fucking ringing, dude? Dude, I just keep missing a call that I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to get, and, like, it's not even ringing. That's super annoying. Oh, that's really good. Jeez.
Yeah, so the thing is, like, if you suggest that idea to wizards, they probably can't use it because, like, it's your idea. It's the same reason they can't take solicitations for cards, for card ideas, because, like, then, like, you might have, like, you could literally reference that stream and say you gave them the idea and then sue them for it. Like, they're kind of really sticklers about that kind of stuff. Rattle chains. Sure. Big hexy, check in and see. But then you gotta block ink eyes too, or else I just get it back again? I don't understand. Thank okay. you. Sounds good. Baron, what up? Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate the resub, my dude. So, one, two, three, four. Get storming. I'm just like not even gonna play. I'm not even gonna keep up regeneration because it just seems like it's very niche here. It's probably not gonna be super relevant. Hey, my friend. Like an old man trying to set the Oh, and we win two one in our first Magic 30 cube. Our deck was pretty sweet. Except for that first round where we just couldn't handle all their planeswalkers and things. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope we ninjutsued enough, and I hope those lands are really Really good for you. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll check you next time.